The Redstone Furnace is a thermal expansion machine that's very similar to the vanilla Minecraft furnace, except it runs on redstone flux and requires very low amounts to cook food items. To craft one, you'll need one redstone, two bricks, a machine frame, two copper gears, and a redstone reception coil. Once crafted, right-clicking on it will bring up its interface. This bar on the left here displays the amount of redstone flux available in its internal buffer. As you can see, it has a maximum capacity of 24,000. Redstone flux can be brought in via thermal expansion energy conduits. But for this example, I'm just going to place a flux capacitor here in this box, and it'll move some redstone flux into the internal buffer. This box here will give you some basic information about its energy consumption. Its current power consumption will be displayed here. At its maximum speed, it'll be using 20 redstone flux per tick. However, as the buffer decreases, the power consumption and operating speed will also decrease. So it's always best to keep its internal energy buffer full. And you can do this quite easily by connecting energy conduits that are being directed from some kind of energy cell. This blue box here is where you can place items you'd like the redstone furnace to process, and this arrow here kind of functions as a progress bar, and the processed item will appear here in this orange box. I'm just going to place a piece of iron here, and as you can see the furnace is using the redstone flux to smelt it into an iron ingot. In doing so, it used 1600 redstone flux, which is quite a bit. If you're looking for an efficient machine to smelt ores, I recommend checking out the pulverizer and the induction smelter. I have tutorials for both of those available here. Food items require significantly less redstone flux. For example, raw fish and beef only consume 400 redstone flux per item, and the redstone furnace can process them at a pretty high speed. This button here on the interface will let you access the configuration screen. Here, you'll be able to see all the configurable faces. The front face has a vanilla furnace shape on it, and it'll appear here in the middle. From there, the rest of the faces are pretty much positioned relative to that one. I'll change the colors to blue as I go, just so you can see. This one here is the top face. This one here is the left. This one's the right. This is the bottom. And of course, this is the face on the back. Any face set to the blue color means that items can be brought in through that face via item docks or buildcraft transport pipes. The blue color translates to the color of the input box here on the interface. Any face set to the orange color will allow items to be outputted through that face. In this case, the color corresponds to the orange outline around the output box. This part is optional, but there's also a redstone control panel here on the interface, where you can set the redstone furnace to respond to certain redstone inputs. It'll work as normal even if you don't change any of the settings in here though. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like, and if you want to see more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments, and have a great day!